Hey, what's up, guys? Um, So I was clearing some stuff out of the closet, and I realized I had a pair of sneakers I forgot I bought. So a year ago, exactly a year ago, right around Mother's Day, I purchased these um, Nike Vapor Max in the, the original colors. This is the original Platinum, and I think Platinum and Wolf Grey. I wasn't even sure. But I really loved them. My wife bought a pair for herself, and we actually bought them right before we went on a vacation. And I wore them, these, all throughout last summer, as well as over the winter time. On the weekends, uh, I usually take my daughter to the um, club for swimming. So I tend to wear these a lot. So I've been wearing these for a year. And this is a review on these after a year of wearing them. Most people tend to review stuff as soon as they buy it and take it out of the box and, and discuss, you know, the features and whatever, the positives and negatives. But after wearing these sneakers, these are probably the best sneakers uh, I've ever owned in my life. <laughs> and, um, I'm well over 30 years old, so I've owned, owned a lot of sneakers. And um, these were so good. When I bought these at the time, I really liked the design and the light weight of, of these uh, sneakers. I went and bought a second pair. <laughs> Completely forgot I bought them because I tucked them away in the closet. I figured the reason I did that was because they're so lightweight and this fabric is like really, felt at the time really, really um, soft and fragile. So I figured, you know what, I love these. I'm gonna buy a second pair um, and keep them until these fail. And it's been a year and these still still look brand new. Um, there is one caveat there and I only realized after founding the second pair I bought in a closet, which is which is still in the box. Uh, uh, and I bought these from, I think, Finish Line, I think. And um, size 11, and that's actually the color. It's pure platinum white and wolf gray, as you see there. So that that's the color. So I'm gonna take the new ones out in the box, but I want you to look at these. And this is a year, 365 days of wearing these things. I know I work during a week, I don't wear sneakers all the time, but I tend to wear these like if I'm running or jogging after work. Um, we actually had a Fitbit channel, two Fitbit challenges in my office in the time I've owned these. And um, see my Fitbit is there. And I've been, found these very comfortable running. I've been, the last Fitbit challenge, it was about um, six weeks and I ran, I had about 40,000 steps per day, and most of those steps were in these um, after work, and I was like running from where I live now, um, I ran about uh, 20,000 steps north, I can't remember the mileage, I think it's like five miles, and then five miles back, um, five miles for 20,000 steps, and that was running in uh, October and November. It was a six-week challenge, so I did that about every night, and weekends was even longer, I was logging 50,000 steps in these on the weekends. And they held up really, really well. And um, I, I come from a running background. I ran track and field in high school, um, junior high school and high school. I ran track and field, not in college, though. I did all the things in college. But um, you can look at the, the bottom there. The air bubble is still fresh. I've owned a lot of Air Maxes, too. I, I mentioned um, well over 30 years. So I've owned a lot of literally every Air Max from the 95s um, to... So I took a break. I've been running and walking in Brooks, Saucony, and Asics. I've been using those brands as well as New Balance. Um, but I came back to the Air Maxes when I saw these Vapor Max, and they are by far the best sneakers ever. Um, so let's go right into it. Uh, there is some damage to the laces because what I do is, and I'm glad that's there to show you guys, I machine wash these about maybe once a month with my daughter's shoes and my wife's shoes. Um, so that got stuck in the machine, the washing machine door or something, and that was shredded. But easy to machine wash. They dry, like, instantly when you take them out the dryer. Um, and I haven't washed these in a while. And I actually, we have a backyard where I play uh, soccer with my daughter, so I've been using this to kick the ball around. And you figure that would get muddy and dirty. It stayed pretty clean. You can see the mud in the bottom. Not the mud, but the staining from the mud. But the top part stayed really, really clean. And... Um, very comfortable. I don't even lace them up. I just slip my foot in there and it's very, very stretchy, very comfortable. I wore these in really cold weather. That's one of the concerns. I thought the lightweight material would um, make my toes cold, but it's it's very much reinforced down by the toes. So my toes are very warm and I just wear ankle socks with these and that's wearing them to go to the pool. I wear like shorts and like leg um like, I guess, yoga pants, yoga tights, or whatever, and these, and been very warm over the winter. So let's get right into the new pair, <laughs> and you'll see the difference in, in how these 
have H. I'm going to put that to the side. So that's the new pair. And that's one of the caveats I mentioned with air bubbles. They tend to stain over time on the bottom, these bottom nubs. And the good thing about them, they don't wear out. I mean, I've had sneakers and shoes wear out in a time, in a time I would have worn those in the same time I wore these in a year. And they didn't wear out, but they did get discolored. And you can see the the new one there, how it looks. Um, you totally see the difference between new and now you kind of believe me. I mean, initially when I started the camera and I put the camera on, you might have thought I was kidding you guys saying these are a year old. But now you kind of could see the difference in what I mean. So that's the only part that, that shows the wear and tear is the the bottom and it's not even wearing or tearing. It just gets discolored. And like I said, I use this a lot in the backyard playing, uh, kicking the ball at my daughter and stuff. So I, it's kind of dirty back there. So maybe if I lived in a urban area and I only use this on pavement, it probably won't get that discoloration there. But, you know, we do have the backyard. and um, So you can see there, that's the only difference. But you can see the upper, it literally, like, if I was to show you these two shoes side by side, just looking at the upper, you couldn't even tell that one is brand new and one is a year old with lots of mileage on there. So that's it, guys. That's my review on these things. Very, very good. I think I paid one one ninety for these when they first came out at Nike Town in Manhattan. And I bought these. I think I bought these for one fifty or a little less than that. Actually, no, I bought these. I remember I paid one hundred and thirty dollars for these. They were on sale at Finish Line or some Foot Locker. I can't remember where. Um, so when I saw these for one thirty. And I think these were, might have been a returned item because I didn't wear these, but they do show a little bit of um, staining down there in the bottom. But so I got those for 130, brand new, and uh, highly recommend these. At the time, I thought 190 dollars for sneakers is crazy because I'm old school. I grew up when Air Maxes were 100 dollars, and when we were in high school, and that was like a lot of money for us. And now, like 200 dollars is like like normal prices for kids buying sneakers today. So not even normal. I think Yeezys are like five hundred, a thousand dollars. Kids are spending on sneakers, but for two hundred dollars a year of using this, it was a great investment. I think in the same period when I was wearing Asics and New Balance, I would have went through two or three of those, and those were like a hundred dollars each. So saved a lot of money by buying these a year later in um, looking at them. So in that saying that, one hundred ninety might seem a lot of money, but. And if you don't have to buy sneakers every three months, if you're a runner like me, you do a lot of active stuff in the backyard. If you don't have to buy sneakers every three or five months, <laughs> definitely invest in these. And now it's actually the anniversary of these. And I think Nike has the second version of these, the um, Flyknits Vapormax 2. And it's a little bit more reinforcements around the ankle. And that was one of my initial concerns. A lot of people concerned that the ankle was very mushy, but I did not have that issue at all. Um, I do... Take the footbed out when I wash them, and you could kind of see the inside there, how it looks. You could definitely see the wear when I show you how the inside looks there around the ankle and stuff. But these are very, very comfortable, very lightweight as well. $190. I think if I was to buy these again at full price, I'll definitely do it. It's definitely worth the money. Um, definitely, definitely worth the money. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, look out for more videos. This is a quick review video. Um, BMW stuff is coming up. It's finally getting warm in New York. Um, today, I think you broke 60 degrees for the first time since February. So, you know, it's been good. All right, guys. See you later.